Hello and welcome to the episode. I'm Nick. I'm Jo. And we are off to one of Jo's favourite calves in the mm-hmm. Warbers Wick. It's called the Tea Shed, isn't it? Yes. Just along the coast, on the east coast. Yeah, it's right near Warbers Wick, isn't it? Is it actually? Yeah, it is in Warbers Wick, really, isn't it? It is. Yeah. And we would love for you to join us. Yeah. Can you go back a bit? But it is that fucking odd to put stand up. Oh. Right. <laughs> it is on yours, isn't it? Yeah, couldn't go forward a little, could you, Plus? Because I won't fit in that gap. <coughs> Fuck. Oh, mate. Loving the double gate, eh? Hey. Have you got a zip pocket you can put the keys in? Have I got a what? A zip pocket. Inside. Can you get on the bit that's on my back of the bag? There's. I a mean, zip. there's a button there, a bit right. No, no, don't leave it there. There's on on my back. There's a zip pocket at the top of the backpack you should be able to get to. I like your ponytail, babe. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go. All good in the hood. Yeah, literally. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah. This uh, this hoodie is definitely breathable. <laughs> Should you have put a sweatshirt on underneath or say? Should have done. You silly Billy. Do you want nip. a loop brand? Nah, I can't be asked. Well, we could just not go as far if you. That's all right, that ain't cold. It? Not a tart, mate. Do you know what I mean? Not a moan. <laughs> new gear, innit? Got a new hoodie and a new helmet. Yeah. I can't hear any road noise yet with this helmet. Oh, awesome. And I can actually talk properly because that HJC really squashed my cheeks and I couldn't even talk properly. That is true, actually. You are, like, it's clearer what you're saying because sometimes see. it's, like, partly that I can't hear properly because there's so, like, road noisy, this helmet, but also because you're a bit muffled what you're saying. Seeing you thought I mumbled all the time, eh? <laughs> I only mumble half the time. <laughs> and when your face is squished. Yeah. <laughs> I'll definitely feel a lot more comfortable. There's a combination of that crap jacket, the crap tight helmet, just made riding a bit more uncomfortable for me. Yeah. That's good that you enjoy it. Not good that you were uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Not stiff. So, uh, well, it's quite cheap, this helmet, wasn't it? It was 180, was it? Yeah, it was on a uh, special, wasn't it? It was like nearly 100 quid off. Yeah. And after watching that video yesterday on Fault 9, comparing the HJC 100 pound helmet to the HJC 1000 pound helmet, they were just the same in safety. Yeah, it made you uh, glad you'd made the right, made the right choice because that was after you'd bought it, wasn't it? I know, because I was putting on 500 pound shoey helmets, weren't I? Yeah. Just paying for a brand, didn't you? Sometimes, because yeah, they've got to be a certain safeness to be sold, you know. It's like having a Rolex, and it? it tells the time. Yeah. So does a Casio. <laughs> Casio. Casio. But one's uh, should be dearer than the other. Oh, oh how annoying is that? <laughs> what was that? The bloody oh what? What? The um, 
the visor thing that you lift up, it's just the little um, bit that sticks out is on the left. Oh man. So when you've got the clutch in and you're in traffic and you get a bit steamed up, you, you have to use it. your right hand to pull it up. That's a bit awkward, Who isn't it? designed this bloody helmet? <laughs> Why would you not put it on the right side? Like, I could just oh, go God. like that, you know? That's weird. And yet the sun visor's got um, sticky out bits on both sides. That's weird. That is the technical term, sticky out bits. What does my helmet look like from behind? Looks lovely. What about my crash helmet? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Bit of dirty bugger. Well, this helmet's got a red line on it. I'd be a bit worried if my other one had got no red line on it. <laughs> In that case, I'd need to see a doctor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got a pig white, man. It's nice and bright. Stands out. Oh, I can hear you rev the nuts out that little <laughs> 310. Do you know what though, I was using that last week and I, I really like riding your bike. Yeah, it's lovely. It's the Gee, perfect it lovely. It's the perfect size and it? it's, it's Yeah. It's like the size of a 125, but it's got a bit more poke to overtake stuff. Let me just correct you there. It's the weight of a 125, certainly not the height of my 125. Yeah, it's quite <laughs> that is pretty tall, isn't it? Yeah. I actually consider buying one myself. Or maybe the KTM 390. Yeah. Because I do love this bike. Don't get me wrong, but it's a full touring bike that's equipped to go around the world. Not to um, a Warberswick calf. Yeah, which is all we do, isn't it? Yes. We don't At go the fast. Minute. We don't go fast, do we? And I just think they're just so fun, these little bikes, aren't they? Yeah. So I don't know, you never know, this might be sold and one day I'll have a KTM 390 or a 310. <laughs> Watch this space. Yeah. <laughs> like to keep you on your toes here. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll do some green lanes then, that'd be fun. Yeah. I'll watch the videos of you doing it. <laughs> yeah, you won't be doing it, will you? Nah. Maybe one day. But I'm early on in my riding journey, and I. You know what we should do? We should do uh, like a off-road experience, me and you. Yeah. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, because then that wouldn't be our bikes. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. That's a very good point. I do want to get some bars, don't I? Oh yeah, the crash bars. Just where it's a bit taller. We looked at your one brand new in the showroom yesterday, didn't we? Six grand, six thousand yeah. pound, brand new. Yours was what, four, four and a half was it? Four, four. What a bargain. That was with the seat, it would have been four, three, but we bought the seat off him. Yeah, or the low seat. Yeah. Which still makes it a tall bike. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just a very slightly less tall bike. I think it's only like, was it five mil difference or something? No, it was a bit more than that, about ten mil I think. But the, this GS is set to low on the seat and uh, I think seat to peg ratio is a bit off, it's a bit small, it's a bit tight, so my knee does lock up a little bit. Yeah, it's the exact same problem you had with the Tiger, wasn't it? Yeah, so I might struggle and put it on the higher one. Or if I get a KTM 390, then I ain't got to worry. <laughs> <laughs> Although that's tall, not on it? <laughs> that is tall, but it's very light. Oh, I bet you're freezing. I ain't too bad to be honest. Because I'm cold. Because last time I put like my thermal long sleeve top under my t-shirt and I was sweating so I didn't do it today and now I'm thinking yeah I should have done that today. <laughs> yeah but no offence mate but uh, you're always cold. <laughs> yeah this is true. I'd rather be slightly cold than wear that god awful jacket I had on last time. Yeah. That was in a bad way at the end, wasn't it? Well, it looked like I'd crashed at 100 by an hour, didn't it? Or ripped uh, armpits, the pocket was ripped. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm going to do? Is put my heat grips on. Oh, oh you show off. No. Oh, no. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try my sun visor out. 
You won't be able to see now because it's not sunny. <laughs> I know, but that is cool, man. It's not too dark. It's like a, it's got like a hint of yellow in it. Oh, that's all right then, because that's oh. the issue normally, isn't it? It's yeah. like it's too dark, and then when you go like under trees, you can't see anything. I'm really impressed with Scorpion helmets. I don't even know the model of this one. Do you know the model of this one? Is it uh, Saint XO? Uh, Saint I'll put a. Uh, Put it on the screen or I'll something. I'll put it on the screen, yeah. Uh, I was trying to think then. But yes, it was a case of just looking at the helmets and seeing what was looking cool, trying them on, and what felt the best. And yeah. then And then I looked at the price and I thought, uh, I've got to get a good balance of a uh, cheapish one. That feels nice as well. Yeah. Because I put on some of the £500 ones and they were a horrible fit. Yeah, that was the... What one was it that didn't fit you good? Was it the Araya one, is it? Araya, what the f*** you call it? Can't bloody think. <laughs> but the guy in there was very helpful yesterday, wasn't he? Yeah, he was actually. It was uh, Infinity Motorcycles in Norwich. Yeah, because you picked out a jacket, like another type of hoodie thing, and um, I commented that their size selection wasn't great, and he was like, ah. Oh, I've got this out of the back, I've got one myself, it's really good, and he dropped the price for you as well, didn't he? That's what I don't understand. All this bike gear is so small, don't they realise fat people want to ride as well? I know. I was limited with sizes there, weren't I? Yeah, and when I said to him about it, he's like, oh, we, we only stuck up to a 3XL, which it, a is 3XL not big. In a motorcycle gear, a motorbike gear, it's, it's more like a bloody 1XL, isn't it? Yeah. And not only that, they didn't have a lot of 3XL. I found that the 4XLs fit me better, didn't they? Some yeah. brands the 3XL did. I just, I just got a beer belly, that's the problem. It's my freaking beer belly, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. but the, and the thing is, like, there's no point getting smaller stuff, as I've learned. I got smaller stuff because I was, like, my lowest weight, like, last year. And um, it's all a bit snug this year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because as you... I know we're not old, but as you get older, certainly more towards your 40s, it is hard to drop the weight like you used to. Like, I took for granted how easy it just dropped back off again. I'm not going to lie, I'm bloody cold now, babe. <laughs> I'm going to stop here because I don't know what this geezer's doing. Geezer. You're probably going to stop in here. Oh, you're getting a bit daring, babe. Yeah. I know. I kept rolling so then I could just go. Previous Joe would have stopped it there. <laughs> See, I've got this powerful 1200 and I've barely got out of fourth gear. Oh, really? Because we're just plodding along, aren't we? We're just plodding along. Plodding along. And there's um, normally a car in front anyway. Yeah, there's a lot of cars on the road these days. Yeah. Oh no, that does feel nice. Fourth gear, open the throttle and woohoo, baby! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it takes a lot less effort, I guess, for you to get going. I still stick by my words though. This is the best bike I've ridden. And I say that about every bike. Honestly, this is the best. I just love bikes though, you know? Fellow bikers. Yes. Did you get a nod, babe? Yeah, I did. Did you? Yes. I am the only GS rider that nods at people, I have you know. Because <laughs> when I used to ride other bikes, I very rarely saw a nod from a GS rider. Really? Yes. Which might be a coincidence. And sorry if I offend <laughs> any GS riders. Visual bastards. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I would say it's a beautiful day, but it wouldn't be uh, typical British if, it, um, <laughs> if we didn't moan about the weather, hey? <laughs> it's not windy, it's just cold. Hands are freezing. Yeah, because I've got my summer gloves on. They're perforated. <laughs> Same. Apart from mine, are not perforated, they've just got holes in. <laughs> <laughs> but my palms are nice and warm. Your palms are sweaty. Yeah. I was going to continue the song there, but nah. I, I'm disappointed that you didn't. It's a bit cringe, isn't it? <laughs> 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 but, but ain't that our, like, 
fame. Fame? What? Grin uh, uh, trademark? Uh, yeah, what, cheese. Gr cringe. Yeah, oh, cheese, yeah. Cheese. Oh, yeah. I thought you said cheese for some reason. <laughs> Oh, Brian. Colville Brian loves a bit of cheese, doesn't he? He, lo <laughs> he loves that corniness. He loves our brand of cheese. <laughs> if I make a video and edit it, and I know something's gone a bit corny, and I know for sure he's going to comment. <laughs> He'd lap it up. <laughs> Sometimes I do bite a little bit, though, I'm not going to lie. Oh, it's a nice <laughs> triumph, isn't it? It is. So what do you reckon in the comments? Shall I keep this or shall I get a 310 GS like Joe or a 390 KTM Adventure or the Zvard Pillen 401? Or something else that you recommend of similar yeah, small sort capacity. of thing that we might not have thought of. But I'm not going to lie, I don't really want to go back to Royal Enfield. Nothing wrong with them. I just want to try something different. Well, not only that, because we our bikes live outside, I just don't think they uh, weather as well outside, do they? In our experience, no, I mean, not, well, in, not living near the fine. east, not living near the east coast, and not putting them under a sheet. Yeah, we get like I did notice the salt a few. Air. I did notice a few things on my Himalayan. Your Himalayan? <laughs> my <laughs> Himalayan. My uh, interceptor. Yeah, I can't even remember the bloody what, uh, name of it. <laughs> I was going to say I must have blinked to miss that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to make a video and talk about it, but by the time that happened, I'd sold it. <laughs> so I didn't bother mentioning it, but that did put me off uh, Royal Enfield a little bit. I'm not yeah. saying they're all going to be like that, but yeah. So that was secret. Well, when <laughs> your, um, <laughs> your mirror's fogging up as well, went mirror? Oh, it weren't what? the bloody mirrors, darling. It oh, was no, a clock. Why did I say mirror? <laughs> oh my god, what's wrong with our brains today? <laughs> Jeez. I and mean, they're budget bikes and they're affordable, that's the thing, innit? You've got to bear that in mind. Yeah, like but if you want a brand new bike, then go for it. But we've got the money, we're in a position now where we can get something a bit more expensive. Yeah. And have a bit of quality. I mean, my worry is about getting a smaller bike is that you get so confident you want more it'd be such a shame to get rid of this now yeah because really you haven't had a lot of time on your bike have you no like cons i know it's been however many years since i've got my cbt and whatever but i haven't had a lot of on the bike experience like you've come such a long way but do you honestly feel ready for a bigger bike uh no it's the weight that i don't like because obviously i was fine i passed on the um, SV, didn't I? Yeah, but I mean like an eventually like an F850 or an F750 no, think, sort of thing. I think it'd be too heavy at the minute, because yeah. I'm just not used to manoeuvring the tall weight around, you know? Yeah, I mean the good thing this time, we bought these second hand and they were a good price yeah. so we're not going to lose when we sell them again. Yeah. So it wouldn't be the worst thing if I'd sold this, brought a little 310 GS to ride around with you and then solve that or we'll get both sell as and get something bigger again. Yeah. That just sounds so weird in through the speaker. Bloody hell man. I can really see why they put a quick shifter on this. <laughs> because you just you can't hold on. You can't what? You can't hold on. Really? Like, like to put your hand on the clutch to pull it to change gear. You're just losing grip of it. No way. <laughs> Honestly, it's that fast. Bloody hell! <laughs> this is a lovely road into Warburswick, isn't it? Yeah. That angry face. Because you've got the angry face. Uh, yeah, I'm two mile an hour over. No dear. Sometimes I go a little bit faster just to see the angry face. <laughs> you weirdo. <laughs> you weird rebel. Oh, 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 we've got a lot of zombies on the road. <laughs> 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 oh, God. We just look like the uh, outsiders, don't we? Yeah. We do. 
noisy hooligans on their motorcycles. <laughs> At least their BMs we kind of fit in. Yeah, you snobby little cow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not being snobby. I'm saying they're the snobby ones. <laughs> I want to be like you. <laughs> it's quite busy, babe. Oh, no. Oh, little tea room. It's lovely, isn't it? Sunday and it's late. Where are we going to park us? Because there's no room there. Oh, no room at the inn. Ah, uh, there. Yes. Good, babe. The deep concentration there it is. in your eyes. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go forward ish. Yeah, and it's back in like I have. And then uh, you could probably get off it and wheel it back. Do you really think so? <laughs> I really do. <laughs> do you want me to do it for you for ease? I'll give it a go. I'd like to have a go. Sexy bike there. Right. Just be near me. Yeah. Let me just get up. I should have took my gloves off, shouldn't I, really? At least you're uh, doing it yourself. Yeah. Which is good. good. That's it. Yeah. Stand still yeah. up. Or down, rather. Cool. You did it. <laughs> just a little well bit done. of help over a rut. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're going to go look at the uh, tea rooms, see what we're going to order. Probably put some pictures up, yeah. and then we'll catch you in a bit. See you soon. <laughs> Apologies for this. I oh really need God. to clear my throat. Mute me a minute. <coughs> I didn't mute you properly. <laughs> <laughs> I probably went for it because I thought you'd muted. <laughs> Couldn't get like a sandwich or anything because that don't start till 12. So we were too hungry to hang around for that. So we've got a three course meal. <laughs> Through <laughs> pastry. <laughs> Ah, oh. and there it is, tea room and restaurant. Beautiful. Don't forget it's 20, mate. You get told off. I'm sorry. It was so nice, though. I'm, I'm getting told off by you, babe. Do you know what I mean? Getting told off by what? Me? Yeah, you. I know it's more of because of the locals that are shaking yeah. their fists at me. Um, yeah, that... Oh. Honeycomb syrup in the cappuccino, delish. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. Absolutely delicious. Everything was nice there, and I'll just go as far as to say that it was better than two magpies. <laughs> yeah. AKA two maggers. <laughs> yeah, he went there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had, um, I had a ham and cheese swell. Well, I went ours with Nick because I, I wanted a full on sweet thing but two pastry things I couldn't fit in so half a ham and cheese swell which was delish and then a fruit swell which is my favourite thing from there love it and the sausage roll was absolutely divine it wasn't too oily no it was lovely I tried a little bit didn't I and I'm not that bothered about sausage rolls but I could have hit one of them <laughs> you got the birds chirping and land on the table stealing your crumbs yeah so cute <laughs> What a wonderful ride, and a wonderful end. So it's probably a good time to end the video there, I reckon. Yeah. So uh, let me know in the comments if you think I should keep this bike or get 
get a bike that's similar sort of capacity as Joe's one so we can ride together because I'm constantly finding myself too far ahead or shall I just keep this and hope that uh, Joe feels confident enough to get a bigger bike <laughs> in the future well so. I'm hoping at some point in the future yeah but just how far in the future who knows I just <laughs> have to keep getting out more and more and more on this and yeah. get used to it oh well, thank you for joining us until then I've been Nick I'm Joe and we'll catch you on the next vlog ride safe <laughs>